It looks like a keyboard, but has the flexibility of a stringed instrument. You can bend pitch and change the volume with the wiggle of a finger. It's very soft to the touch, um, and that material just compresses underneath your finger. But you can also slide. Roland Lamb created the Seaboard almost single-handedly, designing the software and the silicon material which makes the keyboard so unique. It's a musical instrument and it is like high technology. The Seaboard is already entertaining crowds. This is a recent performance by Roland's team at the famous Abbey Road Studios in London. There's a lot of musicians who are um, already using the Seaboard and some who are publicly performing with it now. Um, you know, Hans Zimmer has uh, been a great proponent for the Seaboard. Hans Zimmer, the composer behind the Lion King score, uses one in his studio. If you wanted the same model, it would set you back $15,000. Back at Rowley HQ in East London, staff are enjoying their daily communal lunch. It's part of Roland's company philosophy. He likes to do things a little differently. In fact, he speaks five languages, including ancient Chinese and Sanskrit. He learned to computer code at 30 and is finishing his PhD from the Royal College of Arts. Not bad for a kid who dropped out of school at 17. I got obsessed with meditation and I just kind of not only dropped out of school but slightly dropped off the planet, shaved my head, moved to Japan and, you know. Yeah. Um, Your parents were supportive? They were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Rowley secured almost $13 million from a range of investors including Universal Music. It's expanding production, aiming to create a range of instruments at different prices. Angus Bennett, Bloomberg.